everyone and welcome to my channel Fat to Keto. My friends call me Jelly as I've lost 181 pounds on a ketogen journey. A lot of people might stop where I am and say they're perfectly content to be in this size. I, however, am not and I am continuing to struggle to lose the weight and I'm going to keep going and not stop until I get where I want to be. Um, my inches have dropped drastically in the last year, just the scale has not. So I'm still headed in the right direction. It's been a crazy day, it's about 3.40. Um, I spent the day shopping, trying to find my daughter a jacket that would fit her a man's suit jacket for a play thing she's in tonight. The one they gave her was from a thrift shop. It smelled horrible. They said we could wash it, it fell apart, even on delicate cold, because it's supposed to be dry clean only. Also, it looked like it had cat hair on it. My daughter is allergic. <sighs> so that was very stressful. I spent the whole day shopping. Finally found something. Then had to go pick them up just now, take them to McDonald's. I'm gonna show you right now what I ordered me to eat. It's 3.30, I'm having my first meal of the day. The kids got McDonald's, so I decided to get a McDouble. Um, with just, I'm not gonna eat the lettuce, but it has the cheese, it has the the patties and I made me a little happy face with mustard and I didn't get their mustard I just used my own so you saw what I'm about to eat I haven't eaten it yet I'm having regular water I've had two collagen coffees today um I'm not sure about the electrolytes I don't want to blame it and I know I'm not supposed to be weighing but I have gone up drastically in the last four days in weight I have not changed my calorie intake. I have not changed my activity. Um, like I haven't gone down in activity at all. I've actually kind of gone up some. Um, I haven't changed my protein or my fat intake. It shouldn't be that time of the month. Um, the only thing I have done differently is that. And I did have that syrup yesterday and Sunday. Um, on my pancakes, but that's a syrup I've used a lot, like a lot. I have never once gone up using it. So something is affecting my weight right this minute. And yes, I did start the metformin last night. We won't know for a week what happens. I woke up today um, and took my blood sugar. I'm gonna show you really fast. Okay, I have not taken my blood sugar in a couple of days. So we're gonna try this morning. clue what is doing this. I'm back to high sugars in the morning. A lot of people will say 104 isn't too bad, but no, it is. It means I have sugar in my blood. Like, seriously, like it's too high. 93 or less, and I was in the 80s, so something is shooting it up. I'm not 100% sure what. I don't know if it is my Don phenomena thing I have that goes on. I... I don't know, but that's why I started taking the metformin because this started happening a lot, that my sugar is raising higher than it was out of the blue from nowhere. And I'm not going to rant today at all. I'm not even going to talk that long, only like for a few seconds because I want to eat this. I need to answer all those comments from yesterday and then we need to leave here in an hour and maybe 20 minutes, something like that. And we won't be home until 9 o'clock tonight. Um, so I'm exhausted. However... I went to my daughter's school last night with the high school she'll be going to. Oh my god, I was so excited. I wish we had those kind of things at that high school when I went there. You can do an EMT, a firefighter, and when you graduate high school, you take the boards beforehand and you automatically get to be those things if you pass your boards. Um, oh, so many programs, like insane. You can take art history which you have to if you major in college in art which my daughter wants to you have to have that during college but this actually counts as your college credit for it and you won't have to take it in college and the high school version is actually easier than the college um so she's taking that next year like really i was crazy crazy excited for her i was like wow i wish i had all these options and 
Um, I got to talk to people and I actually had fun last night. It's the first time in a long time that I had some fun. Like I talked to a couple of her friends' mommies and then I talked to a teacher for a long time and I don't know, I just enjoyed myself and hoping that she can stick with it and I'll go to football games every home game they have. Like her friends are in the marching band and stuff. I will totally go with her to them. Um, cause she doesn't like going anywhere by herself. <laughs> I'm like, I'll go with you. The other moms go, they, you know, so I'm perfectly down with it. I love the football games. So mommy will be right there cheering along too. So she d did talk about doing keto after we left there because I used to be a sick person. I used to get bronchitis I've, like six times a year. Like I was had the same issue she does. Six weeks on antibiotics, fevers, crap all the time. Um, but not since keto. I think I've had bronchitis once since I started keto. Um, so she's thinking really hard about doing it. I know she keeps saying that, but it's really hard for a 14 year old to change the way they're eating. Um, so, you know, if she does it, I'm here to hold her hand, walk her through and make all her meals for her. If she doesn't, I'm not going to be the evil mom to mess her up either. Um, do I want her to do it? Yes, I want her to do it. She will be healthier and happier, but it's got to be her decision. So I'm going to shut up talking right now. Read all these comments, eat this bad boy because I've already taken a bite. And um, yeah, it's actually two. I thought I ordered one, but they have two in there. So I'm going to eat both of them because I won't be home until nine tonight and won't get to eat. So that's what I'm working on right now. I have been thinking about upping my calories and changing the macros again a little because I want to do harder workouts and hit the gym harder. And I'm thinking, for me, I have more energy when I do higher fat, lower protein. And I'm talking energy, we're not talking about the scale moving, um, because I want to build some muscle. So if the scale doesn't move, it doesn't move. But I really want to get some endurance and some strength and muscle, <coughs> sorry, muscle going. So um, usually I do the you know lower fat, higher protein to lose the weight. Yeah, I want weight off, but, you know, if you get more muscle, it'll help you burn more weight off your body, too. So, I'm really thinking, because of all the activities I want to do, I'm going to start focusing on building some muscle, building strength, building endurance, being able to do exercise classes, um, and hopefully the weight will fall off, too. I don't want to sit here and just focus on weight anymore because I've gotten that 181 pounds and um, yes, I want more. And we're going to find more over time. And I just want to focus on keto and the body part, like the physical activity side of it because I can do more things now. So I'm not going to stress if my weight's gone up five pounds after being in the gym all week. So that's the, my new goal right now, healing and strengthening my whole body using keto, probably the higher fat, lower protein version and getting some inches off. And if the scale doesn't want to come, it doesn't want to come. So I'm going to eat this, answer this phone, and we'll talk in a little bit.